What is difficult and easy goodness? The knowledgeable scholars of the past used to say, when one wishes to conquer one's greed and desires, one should start with the most difficult to overcome. We should practice like the old teacher Mr. Su of Changxi, who gave two years' worth of salary to a poor man to pay for the fine to the government. Thus he saved the man and his wife from being torn apart, should the husband be taken to prison. Another example is Mr. Zhang from Hebei, who saw an extremely poor man who had to mortgage his wife and child and had no money for their redemption. If he was unable to pay for their return, the mother and child could both lose their lives. Yet another example is Mr. Jin from Chenqiang, Changsu province. He was old and without any sons, so his neighbor offered their young daughter in marriage to him to give him descendants to carry on his lineage. But Mr. Jin could not bear to ruin the otherwise bright and long future of this young girl, and so refused the offer and sent her back home. This is another example of being able to overcome what is most difficult to conquer in oneself. Therefore, the heavens showered down fortune, which was especially good for these three old men. It is easier to accumulate merit and virtue for those who have money and power than for those who are poor. But if one refuses to cultivate kindness, even when it is easy and one has the chance to do so, then it would truly be a shame. For those who are poor and without prestige, doing kind things for others is a great difficulty. But if in this difficulty one can still manage to help others, then it is a great virtue, and the merits gained would be boundless. In being a moral person and dealing with affairs, we should help others whenever the opportunity presents itself. You should know that helping others is not such an easy task, and that there are many ways to do it. In short, the ways of helping others can be simplified into ten important categories. Father, what are these ten categories? Go and get ready the brush and ink before you take them down. Mm. Well, I'm ready, Father. Mm. All right. The first is supporting the practice of kindness. When we see the people trying to do a little kindness, we should assist them in their deeds and help their kindness grow. When we see others who wish to do good but cannot accomplish it on their own, we should lend a hand and help them succeed. This is the way we can cultivate supporting the practice of kindness. The second category is. Harboring love and respect, we should harbor respect towards those who are more knowledgeable, older, or of higher status than we are. For those who are younger, less fortunate, or of lower status, we should harbor a mind of loving care. The third category is helping others succeed. When we see a person. Who is considering whether or not to do a good deed? We should persuade him to put all his efforts into doing it. When others meet with difficulties in practicing kindness, we should help think of ways to overcome the difficulty and guide them to success. We must not be jealous 